Well, howdy. Welcome here to the Double M Farm. I know it's been a long time. Health has been getting in the way with my bad back. But uh, we have the largest project we've ever undertaken here on the homestead. Coming up, should start this week. And so I've got little Red, the Harbor Freight Trencher, covered up there, letting him rest. Dumpy's down in front shop resting because I'm going to be doing a lot of work with him over the next few weeks on just a just a huge project. So let's take a look at what we're about to undertake. Well, we're down here at the pond site, and as I t you saw if you watched an earlier video. I'm redoing the dam in the spillway, dug a new core here because that, that dam was leaking on this side. And now while I've got the pond drained, I'm going to dig this out and then fill it in and put in a pipe and remove all of this, use a spillway pipe. But I've got to accumulate some more clay. I don't have enough good clay to fill this in, so I'm stockpiling some clay. To finish that and then I'll raise the water level back up on the pond and have it ready to restock but that is not the big project well now we're back here at the back of the property behind the pond and this is going to be a huge project we've got to clean all of this out and ditch I'm building a woods road it will go all the way through and beside by the pond and all the way out to the front of the property and circle around to the front driveway. But this is not the big project. Now we're down here on the creek at the cabin. And over here under these trees, I'm going to dig out the side of the mountain. And uh make a new shooting range right there and dig in and up make a good high bank and then I've got an old swing frame there that I'm gonna put and hang some iron targets from steel targets and make a shooting range right here for some target shooting but that is not the big project well now we're in about the middle of the property of the homestead and right here, our plans are to dig into the side of this mountain. That's a level right there, so you can see how it goes up. We're going to dig in here, put us a root cellar storm shelter in with the Harbor Freight Trencher. And that's going to be a huge project. But that's not the big project. Well, now we're standing up on the highest point on the homestead near the front of the property. And if you're looking at this, you may have guessed now what our big project is. I don't talk about it a lot because it's uh, nobody's business where I am and when I'm where. But we have always lived in town for the past 25 years, 30 years, and had this homestead up here in the mountains it's not that far away and I drive every day back and forth from town to here until now that my wife is having to take care of her mother four hours away for the past three years we decided that basically we're taking care of three pieces of property the house in town the homestead and her mom's place and it was getting to be too much running up and down the road for me especially since Biden got in the White House and the price of gas went so high. So, we have sold our house in town. I am currently staying part-time in that cabin down at the bottom of the hill and part-time at the house we sold. I've still got a few weeks before I have to get out of it. But I'm staying up here more than I'm staying down there. We do have some animals at the house in town, so I do have to go down there to check on them. But we're getting a new house, and we're going to document it here on the channel. Uh, I think it'll be fun. We're getting a 1,900 square foot double wide slash modular home. Should come in either this afternoon or tomorrow. 
and I'm going to be doing a series of videos. So for anyone who has ever wondered about buying a mobile home or a modular home and the process you go through, I'll document it and feel free to follow along. I don't know how many parts it'll be, but um, we'll call this the introduction. And then the next one, when the when they bring the house, we'll video that and that'll actually be part one. But it'll be right on top of this hill. You can see the barn right over the edge of the hill right there. You may be able to see the mountains. In the wintertime, when the leaves are off those trees, we have a beautiful view of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I'm probably going to take out a few of those trees because I've got so many, just so we also have a summer view. I've got a little bit of view right there between those two trees. My finger's making the camera focus. That right there and I'm going to take out a couple of those and then that'll open that whole area up there for a nice view But they came in the other day and built a pad hauled in dirt and they build up a pad This is the way this particular company does it and uh, They haul in dirt and build up a pad. So your house is sitting up higher It slopes down on all four sides. So you never have water running under your home then they dig footers and pour concrete this is all included in the price of the home. They dig down footers, fill them with concrete, and it's all set up and ready. So now they are preparing the house for transport, going to bring it up, three bedroom, two bath, uh, 1,894 square feet. So you might as well say 1,900 square feet. And uh, probably a bigger house than we need, but we ran into a good deal on it, so what the heck. At our age, I'm 70, I'm not tell you how old my wife is, she'll shoot me. But uh, too old to build a house from scratch. We're gonna have brick underpinning. They're gonna put down a vapor barrier, plastic vapor barrier. And then when everything is hooked up, we're gonna have power buried from that pole over to the corner of the house and the meter set on the house. And then the house, we will not have skirting of any kind. Uh, we're gonna have brick underpinning all the way around instead of vinyl skirting. Septic tank will go right there. Field lines will curl out around that way. And the back door will be right about here. In front of this nice hickory tree. And we're going to have a deck and off the house that we can sit on in the mornings and enjoy the mountain view with our morning coffee and then steps going down to a patio area at ground level. Then a nice shaded area over there where I'll probably put a fire ring for some Dutch oven cooking in addition to the one down at the cabin that I use currently. So this is our big project. I've got to run the water line. I have an existing water line that goes to the barn from the well up front. Got to tie into it and run it up here to the house with the Harbor Freight Trencher. And then depending on fuel line, I may have to reroute part of that water line to get it out of the way for the fuel line for the septic. And so there's going to be a lot of work going on and we're gonna be documenting it and invite you to follow along on this journey with us as we uh, prepare for the big move to be permanently on the homestead all the time in our new house. So I appreciate you joining us here on the Double M Farm today and stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. 